when Cynthia was in my body in the back of the jail. I had to restart the video because they got me getting angry, messing with me while I'm trying to tell. And I got to clip the end of the video so YouTube don't say that it's a hate speech for me telling the truth about all these pedophiles that's involved. So while Cynthia was in my body, she said that she was going to, uh, and I saw the spirits of the women at the Conroe Police Department, and they said that Cynthia was bringing my baby up to the jail into a sex room after Cynthia showed me Austin giving, uh, my baby giving Austin oral sex with devil horns on. And then after Cynthia showed me her and uh, Joseph molesting him, his bottom, uh, with their faces and their lips, uh, playing games with his bottom, molesting him, then she said, that she showed me and the white women at the jail showed me Cynthia Overa getting up, no, Cynthia Overa and Austin bringing my baby up to the jail to some sex room and letting everybody molest my baby. All of the police officers and correctional guards, she uh, molested my child. Cynthia Overa was in my body while she was telling me this and she was showing me with the witches that had me locked in the back of the cell, my stomach is hurt. With the witches, the white witches, the correctional guards, they had me locked in the back of the cell. And Cynthia Overa was saying that uh, that Austin needed a blood sacrifice, that she Austin needed a body, that she needed a body. Hold on, I'm not gonna let them break me down. I'm fine. Let me tell y'all fair and square what this woman told me. She said, and the women, the correctional guard and the sheriffs, all of them, the police, all the white men, everybody was in on this shit in this jail. And they all said that Austin was bringing the baby up there and that Joseph and Cynthia was in the Illuminati and that they was pedophiles and that they was going to do a sex thing with my baby and bring my precious baby boy that I told y'all. They was hunting me for my baby and my house, these pedophiles. They was trying to kill me in my fucking house. And this is why, this is why God showed me you was a witch while Austin was in jail. And this is why God showed me how y'all uh, putting y'all dicks in Austin's mouth in that prison. And if y'all didn't think you gonna get away with this. And these nasty black women walking around me trying to help them cover it up. No wonder why they don't care about their bodies. <sighs> Cynthia said, uh... I saw Cynthia said while she was in my body, let me calm down. She showed me everybody in the jail, all the white people in the jail, taking my baby in the room and raping him until he was dead. That's what they said. They said they was gonna take him to a building, to a room in that jail and rape my little 22 month old three year old baby. They had him for 10 months, they done had him for two, three years until he was dead. And if everybody was sitting around in that car, I sure appreciate it. Cause I get sure tired of y'all fucking with me and trying to keep me from telling. <sighs> making my baby hurt but that's all right because that's how I had to scream with the baby the whole time I was in there and then they got this devil police officer over here creeping around while they molesting children oh they was doing a whole lot more than just arresting people huh so my son had to pay for being protected You want to make him pay on what you think you already did it. I want my baby. And I'm going out to Texas. And they all sitting around taunting and laughing with their wicked ass and Mercedes Benzes. <laughs> my baby. Ooh, ooh. Uh, it, I'm fine. It's just because I'm going off. I'm bleeding though. And I do need a doctor. But let me finish telling y'all about what they said they were going to do to my child. 
So since the ovarian was back there in my body, and then they had brought me up into this shit cell because I said I can't breathe. And I didn't. I didn't want to tell these people what was going on. I had already told them people to take me out that cell, and they jumped on me. And 16 of them grabbed me because Cynthia said she needed a new body because God was finna send her to hell. That's what she said, and she said she knew she was going. But if she could get a body, somebody body to get into, then stay there, that she could live on and not have to go to hell. That's what Cynthia told me. And it had something to do with my body and my little boy body and my baby body and my womb. Talking about her and Joseph and Austin need bodies. Because God said them to hell for this shit. Even the thought in your heart to come to me and tell me you were going to do that. But let me calm down. Oh, Jesus. Because they are my enemy. And they all plotting, trying to sit around and say I'm communal, I'm yelling in that community. Like I'm supposed to sit there and tell you something that I'm telling the truth about like this, all calm and shit. Oh yeah. Would I be why would I be sweating bullets out here with my fetus in my womb in America? With them doing me like this and lying. Let me go back. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And they all following me to see how much I'm telling to try to plot on how to take my life. And that's the damn truth. And, and kill. All right. They'll try to act like they, they better take caretakers of your children. All right. Trying to make, let me just tell y'all what she said. So they said it was going to be raping them. I want to give the name of all the people that Cynthia the Grand Witch told me we're going to be raping my 22-month-old baby.